Hi and welcome back to the Bonnet Clay channel. So today I'm going to do a mixed media video and this will involve this beautiful thing here. So this is like a wooden sort of decoration, kind of plain on both sides, really really light and fantastic for Christmas crafts. So I'm going to show you how to jazz this up and make it absolutely beautiful. So here we go.
Thanks for watching the tutorial. So I'm going to show you what it looks like now. So here is the silver one. Now I love this. This is my type of colouring for Christmas. Nice bright white, nice sparkly silver. And as you saw, it's so, so simple just to pop the liquid clay in the little stars and then sprinkle some glitter on. Absolutely perfect. Now I did actually pop these in the oven as they are. So I covered them up slightly with some tin foil and made sure that the oven wasn't too hot. So always remember when baking, bake for a lower temperature uh, for longer rather than a higher temperature for shorter. Um, and it reduces the risk of burning. So this is absolutely brilliant and it's so light. So you can hang it up wherever you like. You know, you're not gonna have to worry about something heavy and pulling your tree down or something. So I'm gonna show you the others now. So on to the green one. Now I love this as well. Now for the colours that I used on this one, I went with a green look, but when I was sprinkling on my glow in the dark glitter, I noticed it has a sheen to it as you pop it into the light. Now if you do have this in the window or something like that, throughout the night it will actually glow in the dark, which I thought was a really, really nice feature. So that's that one. And then we have the red one. Now, I went all out with this one. And I used glitter that I didn't expect to use. So this is like a multicolored glitter. And I didn't really associate this with um, a Christmas sort of craft until I put it on it. And I was like, absolutely amazed. So this is the red one. And as, a, as you can see, they're all exactly the same because they came in a pack. So I just thought, well, decorate them in different colors and see what happens. This took me maybe an hour and you know, obviously tidying them up when they come out of the oven, popping the bow on. It's a little Christmas activity that you can just do with anyone. So I've gone back to this one because this is my favorite. I'm not really sure why I do things in threes, but maybe it's my lucky number or something. But this is definitely my favorite. Please let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. I would be really, really interested to know. So this is how you make pretty bauble looking decorations from a really boring one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. No, I want to say PDF. No, it's not a PDF, is it? We're hearing it. Yeah, they're, they're called baubles here. I'm talking a load of rubbish. Yes. For Christmas crafts and all that. Thanks for watching this show. I absolutely love this and I'm probably going to love some of all It's doing so well. I've got a frog. <coughs> little, little frog. Then, um, but this is definitely me for the last